Hey guys, it's me, and today I'm doing a regular get ready with me video. I'm debating if I'm going to do a voiceover explaining what I'm doing in this video, because um, this is basically like one of my go-to, just kind of normal basic looks, uh, nothing really special, just normal crease, eyes. I don't usually do dark lips, so I used to do uh, nude lips, but I'm doing Selena tonight. Not that I'm impersonating her, but I'm just kind of embodying what Katana would do through that. Yeah, so I didn't want to go over the top and make it draggy, so I made it relatively simple. Um, I got my little bra on that I made. This wig I made myself too. It's just a sew-in. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm not really sure what else to say, but yeah. I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Hello everybody, uh, I'm not used to doing these little voiceover things, but I figured I'd try to do it differently. See if it's quicker to do it this way rather than having to explain everything on camera as I'm doing it. Because it always makes me take longer and in this instance I was actually getting ready for a show that I had to be ready for. But I was getting ready like way early anyway just to be safe. Yeah, so I'm just doing my eyebrows the usual way. Glue stick, powder, and then glue stick, uh, and then powder. <laughs> burning my eyes out with a hair dryer. And then whenever I do the thicker layer of the glue stick, um, where I like, you know, smooth it on, I always blend it out with a little bit of water. I usually have like a water bottle nearby or something, I just use it from the cap. And then I go on with the foundation. The foundation that I use currently is Ben Nye HD Matte Foundation or something like that. It's um. It comes in a pot and it's very yellow. It's like, I think it's Shinsei medium, but it's like really, really yellow. Thankfully on camera you can't really tell because the, the lighting keeps changing. Well, not the lighting, but like the white balance on the camera keeps changing, so I keep changing different colors. But um, in real life it's really yellow, so that's why I do so much underpainting and stuff, so I can actually even that out so it's not so oddly colored. And then for the contour, I used a Ben Nye Cream Foundation. And this one is more of like a warm brown. And I use this more as about just bringing warmth and creating a guideline for where the actual shadows will fall and blend into. And then I'll go in with a darker, cooler tone brown, which is more shadow-like. And then I go in and I darken it all into the where the deepest parts of the contours would be. And then that's where I use it and I blend them all together. I blend my foundation out with a Miracle Complexion sponge from Real Techniques. It's only like six bucks. I got mine from Ulta and I don't know, I, I can't afford to get a beauty blender so I figured this is the next best thing and it works pretty well. It's really soft and squishy. And again, this foundation was just mainly put on just to kind of add more of a warmth to my face so I wouldn't look so yellow and this is kind of an unflattering color if you just wear it by itself. And this is where I'm going in with a darker color. This is actually a cream eyeshadow, I believe, by Ben Nye. I'm using a lot of Ben Nye lately actually, I just realized. Yeah, this is like a darker, cool tone brown that I'm just kind of redefining the darker points of the shadow so it's not like I just have bronzer on my face. I use a highlight, I use a Mayron white cream foundation stick. I'm not really a fan of this one as much as I would be with like a regular highlighter from Ben Nye or so because this one's like really white and it makes things that it blends into tend to go ashy. It just makes everything turn white rather than blending seamlessly. It kind of just makes everything just turn beige. I mean, obviously what a white color would do, but when I used to use Ben Nye's super white or clown white, it would actually maintain a lot of the warmth and the other colors and blend together more seamlessly. But I just make this work because I end up going over with powder anyway. <laughs> I 
always like to start off using a base for where my eyebrow highlight will be so I know where to draw them because I kind of suck at that. And then it's a normal Cody powder all over neutral color set. I tend not to use that much powder as I used to. I try to just use them as much as I need and then um, if I need more I'll add more but I don't try to go in too much. And then I'm using a powder foundation actually and it's a L'Oreal True Match foundation I believe. Um, I've been using it for a long time. I believe this one's soft sable. powder puff and I'm using my highlight powder which is a mixture of my setting powder with a nice super white powder. I try to go really light with that because it tends to go really uh, ashy white if I use too much of it. And then when I cook I get bored so I've been lately I've been really obsessed with these snapchat like filters and stuff. If you follow me on Instagram you'll see me do it a lot with me and my friends. I get bored really easily. So now I'm actually defining the eye crease. I'm just using a mixture of warm browns just to kind of feather out the crease. And then when I want to define it, I go in with the darker brown uh, from an eyeshadow palette I have and then blend them as I go. And then trying to keep it so it's blended on the outside and then sharp on the inside. And then I'm bringing the brown into the actual lid just so it has something to fade into eventually when I put the eyeliner and all that stuff. It adds in more of a dimension to the outer corner. random hair on my forehead. And I'm just going in with my highlight powder and just kind of redefining the crease shape. So it's the brightest in the inner corner and it fades into the outer V. And then going in and lightening up the crease blending transition area so I have a more of a highlight for my eyebrow to sit on top of. And I like to use a really tiny brush. This is an eyeliner brush from Real Techniques and I just put a little bit of like the darkest brown in my palette and I just go in and redefine like the deepest part of where the crease would be. Same brush, I'm going in with a black eyeshadow. This is Makeup Geeks Corrupt, I think. It's the Makeup Geeks black eyeshadow. And also kind of blending that into the outer crease Also because I want to add a little bit more of a soft smokiness to the outer corner where my lashes would be. And my eyelids are really hooded so I have to bring my eyeliner up really really high. If you don't have hooded eyelids then it's not really that big a deal for you but for me I usually cover up my entire eyelid with eyeliner just so it will be visible when my eyes are open. And I usually round off the shape of it so it looks like my eyes are more rounded and bigger. Then I'm going in with, this is actually a lip tar and I was just kind of experimenting because on my last video I did a red lip tar for a base and it worked. This one is black, I don't know the name of it, I forgot. Uh, oh, it's tarred. It has a matte finish when it dries. Uh, so I was just kind of using that as a darker black because I don't really have any liquid eyeliner right now so but I wouldn't really suggest using like you know a black lipstick if you put it to your mouth a lot because the bacteria can get in your eye and then I set that with black eyeshadow the same one I used earlier the corrupt uh, makeup geek one I like to add shadows to like my outer lower corners of my eye just to kind of really emphasize the largeness of them even though they're not that big but it kind of gives more of a further illusion that there's eye protruding out of my face so it gives it more of like a rounded eye shape than mine because mine are more almond shaped and then for eyebrows I just go in with this is actually my contour foundation and then I go in with the darker one just to kind of solidify the shape I 
kind of feather out the inner corner. Uh, sometimes I'll go in with an, a lighter shadow, um, but this one's a little bit more fuller looking, so I just kind of left it how it was and just kind of softened the edge at the inner corner. And then just redefining the lower part using my foundation to kind of clean up the edges. I usually use an eyeshadow to set my eyebrows, but usually use my regular neutral setting powder, and then I go in after with eyeshadow and redefine what needs to be dark and what needs to be lightened. So I just actually went in with the black eyeshadow and softly went in dark in the outer wing or tail of the eyebrow, whatever it's called. And then I use my foundation just to kind of redefine my wing in my eyeliner. Even though I did use like smokiness in the bottom, I just felt like redefining it a little bit, even though it was kind of okay to, to begin with. I'm just perfectionist like that. And then I go in, same thing with foundation, and just kind of highlight the inner part of my eye in the lower corner. It's just using like a neutral skin tone, but just brighter than using my highlight powder to set it. And then I'm using a Ben Nye Brown lip liner and I'm just overlining my lips a little bit more on the bottom um, I usually just follow my top lip and just kind of go right above it and then I went in with a Ben Nye uh, bruise palette actually and I just used like purples magenta and reds and kind of mix them together to the color that I wanted I started off using magenta and then having red in the middle but then at the end I kind of just like having all just a purple mag magenta tone having red lips on me it looks kind of strange I'm not sure why I just don't like it And then redefining again using the foundation to clean up the edges of the lips. And I put my wing on. I really hope you guys can't hear my dog licking himself in the background. A little time to do some chest contouring. Even though I'm really not that good at it, I just kind of keep practicing whenever I have time. But it's really rare that I'm not running behind that I can actually do it. But for this particular look, I knew that I'd only be wearing a bra or a bustier for my number, so I wanted to make sure that it wasn't, you know, so distracting that I had man boobs, even though my stuffing kept showing throughout the night and I kept forgetting to check it. But I mean, when I performed, it was good, I hope, but I was using like a lime green tank top, which is probably not the best thing to use if you want to secretly hide that you don't have real boobs. So basically, it's just like the same concept as your face. Highlight, contour, set, and then powder, contour, and then powder, highlight. I went a little darker because I thought there was going to be a spotlight to show, but there wasn't, so I had really dark boobs that night, but it's okay. And that's the final look, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.